It starts with classwork, then to the field, where a lot of expertise is instilled in these extension personnel and refugees on rice growing. You can add weight here using a stone or you can use a human being. National Crop Research Institute Namronge in Wakiso District is the place where we found Naftali Anguzu, one of the facilitators orienting these trainees. Here I'm going to show you how to use the drill method. Our mandate is to train TOTs, train of trainees, and then train our farmers on field. Anguzu says it is not just a matter of training these people, but enabling them to pass on the knowledge to others. It has been increased in 40 districts in Uganda, so we want to increase the home needs and necessities for our farmers, especially good feeding. It is a project which began about five years ago under the stewardship of Japanese International Cooperation Agency alongside Ministry of Agriculture. We have trained more than 45,000 farmers. We got, uh, our project will finish uh, until March next year. So before that, we will achieve our, target, our goal. It is an investment plan for a commodity and it covers all aspects of a commodity, the value chain. Hanada Hiroyuki. The program coordinator Jika says 58 districts in Uganda were earmarked for growth of both upland and lowland rice. After they're going back to their hometown, they're going to teach how to grow rice to farmers. That is their important task. But in a country where wetland encroachment is decampaigned, where does this leave the safety of the environment? Rubega Paul, the program officer Jika, allays these fears. At the moment, it's really, there's no going back. Most of the wetlands have already been encroached by uh, very many communities, and this is more of a livelihood issue. So we only have to find the best way possible on how we could uh, sustainably use the wetlands. In this Trainer of Trainers program, over 800 refugees and 500 communities are reported to have benefited from this initiative so far. The hopeful extension of the program after its expiry could be a step in the right direction towards countering food insecurity. <laughs> Henry Okrut, UBC.